Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Boy, do I have a story for you guys. So if you guys missed our um, Q&A video, me and Brian answered a ton of life update questions. And so I will link that video up in our iCard and down below in the description. I think I always point to the wrong side. I think it's on this side. And we answer a ton of questions because a lot of people have questions about what's going on with our life. Oh, look at Finn wants to show you where the iCards are. Show me where the iCards are. There, is that what they are? Well, he would know, he watches a lot of YouTube. They're eating their lunch right now. But one of the questions, I believe it was like, when is baby number three coming? Or are you gonna have another baby? I said, hold up. I have a huge update on this and it is very, very serious. I was like, I just have to make a whole video about it because it's kind of a long story. I was hoping Brian would be here, but he is just not feeling very well today. So he's trying to rest up because he's got a big show this weekend. Looks like we're gonna be um, graced by Finn's presence throughout it though. Are these your dance moves? <laughs> All right, go sit down, baby. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rewind about maybe four to six weeks ago. Brian and I were talking. So basically, I had my IUD, it is the copper IUD, put in right after Finn was born. So that was about exactly six years ago as of like almost today. After Finn was born, six weeks later, I had my IUD put in. I have raved about this IUD to everyone because basically the copper IUD is you just put it in and then um, you don't have any hormones being put into your body. It's basically just such a great way to protect you from pregnancy because there's no hormones involved, which I always was affected by. And so I've just loved it. But Brian and I decided that it was finally time to remove it. We were so excited. I was so excited to go down there and have my IUD removed. It was gonna be like, just a day that I was like, oh my gosh, anything can happen at this point. We, we could get pregnant, maybe we won't get pregnant, maybe it'll take us longer this time. I made an appointment, I went in. When they went to remove the IUD, basically, um, she, she it's supposed to be so simple. It's supposed to be just a tug and it just comes right out. Yes, as she tugged on it, it basically just wasn't coming out. All he's starting to get like all the quivers. And so she goes, hold up. Let's, uh, let me use something a little bit stronger. And so she takes, <laughs> she takes something and she yanks. And I actually oh. felt my uterus go And I was like, ah, that hurts, that hurts. She was like, um, well, it looks like your IUD has basically grown into your uterus. It is no. actually stuck in your uterus, it will not come out. We will have to do surgery. And I about like almost passed out. <laughs> not only am I alone at the at this docs appointment, which is unlike me, I take someone with me no matter what, because I just love the support, whether it's my mom or my or Brian, but because of all the COVID stuff, I had to be alone. She's like, it looks like we're gonna have to do a hysteroscopy, which my brain heard hysterectomy, and I said, what? <laughs> she was like, it's just a hysteroscopy. We just need to go in and figure out why it's not coming out. And so I was like, okay, well, what does this mean? She's like, basically, it is a somewhat common thing that happens. I was like, wow. If it, if it were to happen to anyone, it would definitely happen to me. I feel like anytime I have done anything with my uterus, it's always been complicated. As you guys know, I've had a lot of difficult pregnancies. Even, I believe, after Ollie was born, we found out that I had a septum in my uterus, and so I had to have surgery to remove the septum. There's always been a complication when it comes to this stuff, and I'm just like, of course, of course this would happen to me. So basically, I had to schedule a surgery, and I get a lot more information um, at one of my doctor's appointments, and I have it all filmed, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that footage now. So I am headed into my pre-op this morning. So this will be my doctor's appointment where they just kind of like explain everything to me, talk to me, probably like figure out exactly what the process is like, the recovery and all that. So I am looking forward to that because my surgery is in two weeks and I really haven't heard anything since I came to my appointment and they told me I needed surgery. So very much looking forward to just like some information and uh, we'll see. That's where mine's stuck. It's just stuck in my uterus, just like that. Oh, well, they have a picture of exactly where my IUD is stuck, right in my uterus. Okay, just got out of my appointment. So basically what they explained to me 
is that they're going to perform a hysteroscopy, which is basically where they just go in and with a camera and they look around to see what exactly is holding on to the IUD and why it's not coming out. If it's easy for her to grab it at that point, she'll just pull it out and that's like super simple. But if it is like grown into the uterus, whether I don't know, the uterine wall has grown around it or something. She'll have to then perform a DNC, which I actually have had a DNC before. It's something they do often when you have a miscarriage and they have to go in and kind of clean out the uterus. I have actually had that done before. It is also a somewhat simple procedure. It's a little bit more invasive. If she sees that that's the problem, she'll have to do a full DNC. But overall, it, it doesn't seem to be too big of a deal. The hardest part of the whole situation is that I have to do all of this alone. And if you know me at all, <laughs> I usually have one to two people with me at all times. I don't know. I just love that support. I love my family. I love when my husband's there. I love when my mom is there. Like it just makes me feel so much better. And so I have to do all of this alone, which I think that's probably the, the most nerve wracking situation of it all. It's just knowing that I'll have to be like sitting in recovery, sitting, sitting, waiting for my surgery all by myself. So you better believe I'll be vlogging the whole thing. Cause I'm going to need someone to talk to. <laughs> that is pretty much it. Overall, it seems like recovery is even somewhat simple. Maybe just like some cramping and should be like fairly recovered within like four weeks and stuff. So we shall see. It's kind of a kind of crazy. So there you have it. <laughs> so I actually have this surgery happening tomorrow morning. This is the last day with my IUD in. I can't eat anything after midnight today and then I go in early in the morning for my surgery and like I said it'll either be just a hysteroscopy and maybe they can just pull it out there. If not they'll have to do a full DNC which I don't really mind either way. I've had a DNC before that's not like a huge difference in recovery but yeah it should be kind of interesting. I have to do this alone as well, which is probably like the hardest part of all of it But I'm gonna try to vlog and film as much as I can probably gonna be a little loopy a little a little out of it But I'll film what I can. Huh? Can see that video? I'm not oh, Ollie's not watching that video. He says <laughs> Anyways, that is pretty much uh, the update. It's kind of crazy I seriously can't believe that this is actually happening that I have to have surgery to remove an IUD and to be honest I don't know what I'm gonna do for birth control after this because I don't want to do any kind of hormones and I don't want to do <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily want to do another IUD because apparently it grows into your uterus. So these videos, if you guys have been watching for a long time, I used to make videos like this all the time that were kind of personal and stuff. They've changed a lot. Now my children just yeah. like pop in yeah. all of a sudden or they're in the background going, ew, weird, mom. Life has changed a lot in the last eight years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Do you guys want to end it with me? Yeah. What do you guys think about mama having surgery tomorrow? Not good. You don't want mama to get surgery? Yes. It's going to be really easy. It's not going to be a big deal. What are you worried about? I don't know. Nothing to be worried about, okay? I'm in good hands. I got good doctors. <laughs> No, no, I don't. I got good doctors. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty much the update. I've been dying to tell you guys the story. I felt like it was just like something I had to like explain in detail. But that is pretty much it. I go into surgery, so please pray for me. Oh, I just spoke in the eye. <laughs> please pray for me that all goes well and the doctors are super good and they just take care of this for me and I hope recovery goes really well too. I think it shouldn't be too bad. We'll see you guys in our next video and I'll let you guys know how the surgery goes. Bye. Bye. Boop.